The need for collaboration among chambers of commerce in West Africa to increase trade and development among member states is an issue of concern in the region. These form part of the issues discussed during the one-week fact-finding mission to Nigeria of the Second Itakuradi Chamber of Commerce and Industry, STCCI, based in Ghana. The mission, led by the chairman, Mr. Atu Van S., made a two-day visit to the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The mission was also in Abuja, where they held discussions with the president, Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, ACCI, Mr. Aditokumbo Kayodi. For the past few years, we have been breaking new grounds for chambers management and organization. So we're pleased to have them and we're pleased to learn uh, to, to share our knowledge with them and that's what we have done. Um, I, th- I think it's a good thing for chambers um, of commerce throughout Africa, throughout West Africa to exchange ideas, to be in touch so they could achieve three critical things. One, optimize chambers management. Two, improve business relationship between the countries. And um, three, uh, help to develop SMEs because we can gain a lot from, uh, for instance, uh, the skills development that we do in Abuja Chambers as well as the Abuja Trade Center projects that we're doing to develop SMEs. So it's a, it's a, it's a good move and um, we hope to sign an MOU with them. Uh, we uh, hope to uh, support them to develop, replicate our centers in, in Ghana and also we will learn from them. With official records in trade showing no more than 12%, many West African countries are still grappling with trade among themselves. The chairman, SCCCI, however, said the chamber was taking concrete steps to boost the trade figures through the delegation's visit to Nigeria. We are recording low trade among African countries. Today, we have traveled all the way from Sekindi Takradi through Lagos to get to Abuja. So it's a clear signal that this time we are serious about it. Otherwise, why would we spend our time and money to come all the way here? So I believe that our visit is a clear sign that this time it's not all talk. We mean business. And it's not going to be the first like we've said. He emphasized several areas that will need to be improved in every chamber of commerce in the region. We want to look at, first of all, the trade and investment sector. And if you look at that center, there's a need for every chamber to have that center. The chamber necessarily has to have that policy advocacy center which will do all the advocacy on behalf of businesses. Then again, the BEST, the Business Entrepreneurial Skills Training Center, fantastic. Because if you don't train your members, if you don't move their capacities up, if you don't get them to get to the competencies that they need, it's going to be very difficult for your members to, to compete with foreign uh, businesses. The chairman also pledged his commitment to promote sensitization among stakeholders. He also pledged to assist the ACCI with a course which is already being developed on Chambers of Commerce education. The main take from this is that Abuja Chamber is coming up with a course under the best to make sure that chambers are well educated about what chamber is all about. And we have also contributed to that uh, uh, decision. We are saying yes, we want them to do it, we want to be part of it, we want to facilitate, be as facilitators, we want to be designers of that course. And not just for chamber members, we've made it clear that we believe that other stakeholders do not understand chambers and how chambers operate as we do within the chamber. So there's the need for us to launch that course for all stakeholders, public sector, private sector, civil society. So these are things that we have discussed and studied and virtually agreed on. We'll be signing an MOU to officially seal these discussions and many more. Mr. Michael Cano, a representative of the Hamburg Chamber of Commerce in Germany and the project partner with STCCI, agreed that cooperation among chambers of commerce in West Africa would contribute to trade in the region. Well, what I've seen so far at the Buja Chamber of Commerce and Industry is a well structured uh, organization. I was, oh, I'm still very impressed to see all the different centers especially the policy advisory center. I think this is one of the most important activities because, I mean, the business community has a lot of challenges. But if there's not one voice for them, then it doesn't make sense at all. The Hamburg Chamber of Commerce representative expressed optimism in future partnerships with chambers of commerce in Nigeria. Bureaucracy in Germany is also um, not as fast as business. So um, if it comes up, 
like about partnering, official partnering of this institution, then I, we've got to write a proposal to the German government, and then it takes some time. But I think it's, it's really important to stay in touch, and it's not only about like a formal cooperation, it could be about like um, information about trade fairs, it could be about delegations, it could also be a partner to send our business people, when they're in Nigeria, we send them to ACCI, and I think this is very important. The delegation also visited the International Labour Organization office and the Nigeria Private Sector Alliance, where they met with other counterparts and exchanged ideas and business opportunities.